and welcome to this week's episode of Now You Know By. I got a special guest in the hot seat today, and and she would agree she feels like she is totally in the hot seat, (laughs) not prepared, um, and nervous. A little nervous. A little nervous. I'll admit it. Okay. (laughs) Jeanette, I was going to say Handy. That's correct. Well, you were recently (laughs) married. I don't want Flavio to like be disrespected. No. I guess we could say Jeanette Handy Di Stefano. There we go. Okay. There we go. Is our creative services coordinator yes. uh, here at the city. Welcome, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> really? I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> She's She likes to be a behind the scenes yes. girl, yes. or so she says, but you should see her flourish <laughs> at events and, and when when given a task to be out in the public. Like you do just great. Thank you. Thank you. So I've asked Jeanette to join me today because it's a topic I would say is near and dear to your heart. And as our creative services coordinator, um, art is something that you have a passion for. Uh, Jeanette is responsible for all of the graphics you see and the branding with the city, our Engage magazine, Mm -hmm. our flyers, all all of those good things. Uh, What do you love best about your job, Jeanette? And and I'll take myself out of the mist, not not the people you work (laughs) with. What do you love best about creating for the city? I love the variety it brings. You know, there's so many different projects. We're working with different departments. And at the end of the day, if there's an event going on that we've organized, you know, through our office, I love seeing the smiles on residents' faces. I really enjoy seeing them having fun, getting involved in the community. And that's what it's really all about. So. That's, it, it is true. It's that engagement. Like what you do creates engagement. Yes. And um, for our residents and businesses, I would be remiss if I didn't also give her kudos, like light up the lights, uh, our, our holiday showcase, our superhero showcase. Uh, you have a hand in our evening of appreciation here. So she doesn't just do like the flyers. She does a lot of our, our special events. So big stuff, community engagement, which is a great segue to the arts and the community. And when and I say arts, let you know, there was a time when people, it was, you'd build it, they'd come. People never thought of art in public places, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And we're, we're fortunate in Novi to have some pretty cool um, art in public spaces. I, I mean, Villa Bar comes to mind. Absolutely. I mean, what other city owns a, a, if you would, a park, I'd, I'd say it's a park. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. one of our parks, but Villa Bar, you want to describe it for people that might not, that might not have ever been there? It's just such a creative space that has these different sculptures by Dan Barr. David. Right? Yep. David, David Barr. Barr. Sorry. That's okay. Um, you had the D. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And it's just, it has a lot of energy, I feel, because you you can walk around, there's a nice pond there, and it's really reflective looking at these different creative sculptures, I think is very unique. Yeah, I agree with you. And it's, I mean, a passive area to just go and be one, not only with nature, right? really, it's at his residence, um, but also see some amazing art that that he created and then we have the artists in residency program there where people live stay there and create a piece of art to leave behind yes for the community right. which is super cool I don't know of any other city that does or has a program like that um first park there's sculptures there our library pavilion shore pavilion has a shore there. has yep. a sculpture there so um it I guess 20 years ago, people didn't see the importance that this art component would be to a community. And, you know, I shared with you earlier, you and I were looking at um, what does art bring to a community? Economic growth, right? Mm-hmm. It Attractive spaces. Um, a cultural understanding. Somebody that might never have the opportunity to visit the DIA or have experienced art in any form, mm-hmm. we we put it right there at their fingertips, if you would. 
It provides and brings a cultural identity. And then I think the one that we talk most about is a sense of belonging, right? You, Absolutely. You, you feel connected to your community through art, which is the whole purpose really about an idea, a program, and something you brought to life in this year's calendar. Why don't you talk about that? What this year's calendar, I mean, we're in February, but talk a little bit about this year's calendar and then the excitement and the possibility that that's going to bring to a local artist through the Absolutely. program. Absolutely, yeah. So this year's calendar, we decided the theme to be murals of Novi, highlighting what currently exists in Novi, different art pieces, um, for people to get excited about, you know, visit some of these places and see, you know, these different murals. So there's and some couple, you might not even have realized were there, right? right? I mean, we didn't realize till we started looking for them. Yes, yes. So, you know, just a couple that come to mind. Um, First Watch is on the cover. They've got a beautiful uh, mural of the, um, the Novi special. Mm -hmm. that really sticks out in my head. But there's also one at the True Hotel. Uh, Sweetwaters has a rotating one on their chalkboard there. Um, so we wanted to highlight art currently in Novi for people to get excited about. And then jumping off of that, we decided to launch a mural contest um, to keep adding to art in Novi. So, you know providing the calendar, getting you in, giving you inspiration um, to think about, hey, do you have an idea um, about a mural design that would, you know, add to our You know, art scene? so marketing girls that we are, we're a little selfish. <laughs> and um, you, you visit, you travel all over the world. When we visit unique places, how many people on social media these days are taking photos of themselves in front of these murals? I mean, I, the popular butterfly or angel wings that were were popping up everywhere. Yeah. Or you've seen it on the side of the be of a building. Greetings from like a postcard, a postcard, kind or of image, something yeah. that really, I guess, exemplifies or um, portrays a community, and they've become, in essence, they do become a social media phenomena. And we don't have anything like that in Novi. So the thought was, let's partner mm -hmm. with some local businesses or city buildings uh, and create these spaces, if you would, right? Yep. So, I mean... Lakeshore Park, the beach, the new tunnel. How cool would it be to have people stand next to the tunnel or in the center of the tunnel and have a cool mural right. around them, yeah. right? Or um, we've got a great partnership uh, in place with uh, 12 Mile Crossing at Fountain Walk. Yep. And the wall that they're looking at is? It's right across from Imagine. So um it's by Beerhead and me, myself, and I. There's okay. a really large blank wall there, and they said, hey, let's add some art here. Right. And look at how the amazing, free if you would, marketing and draw people would be drawn to the shopping center yep. or real retail center or entertainment hub because, hey – they saw someone else on social media take a photo in front of a wall that maybe captured their attention, and they want their photo there too. So it's super cool. We also have the possibility of some city buildings down at ITC Community yep. Sports Park or possibly working with the Road Commission on um, – I'm crossing my fingers. You can't see that. <laughs> um, but the the bridge over Grand River um, near the RC – Raceway. Racetrack, racetrack. Wouldn't that be cool to have some type of mural down there that people that are attending the, um, what do you call them, the competitions or? Races. Races. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what. Uh, down there can uh, can do the same thing for social media and also presents an amazing backdrop for those filming Absolutely. at the race, right? Yeah. So we're, we're working on that. But all this is to say, Jeanette has created, our team has created a mural contest. 
if you would, mural mm-hmm. entry, we're looking for local artists. Take it away. What are we looking for? We are looking for some creative um, designs that kind of speak to Novi as a community. Um, you don't have to be an artist to to submit your your idea, you know, just a rough sketch or, you know, Photoshop some things, some elements, and just tell us what you're thinking. We will um, later uh, put out a request um, for um, someone who is, you know, experienced in painting murals to make that idea come to life. So you don't have to be an artist, um, but just something that's going to, you know, provide some excitement, add some vibrancy to, you know, this space and, you um, Add art to Novi. Yeah, how cool would it be like to see your vision, your drawing, your idea come to life on a wall in Novi? So I think Jeanette hit on a few key points. A, you don't have to be an artist. You just have to vision of what you'd like to see on a wall, something you've seen somewhere else that we could make it Novi-esque, or something you think that represents the community, what Novi stands for you. And uh, you you submit it to, there's a form on our website. Yes, cityofnovi.org backslash mural. Okay. And you you submit your artwork, your name. It's simple. It's super easy. Uh, And then like Jeanette said, you don't have to be an artist. We're not looking for you to paint it. Right. We are going to send an RFP out uh, later this spring, early summer. And the city will actually, I guess the word would be commission somebody to take and bring your vision, your little, it could be an eight and a half by 11, (laughs) right? Uh, Drawing to life as to what that looks like and make it work in the space. Um, How cool is that really? It's a great opportunity. Yeah. So easy. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you know, if you're listening and you know somebody that's a, a good artist, it, it could be, I gotta say, it could be an elementary school age student. It could be a high school student. It could be a senior at a, a facility that just has a vision. Um, and what, what Novi is to them, I guess, is what we're looking for, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Any other little special things we need to mention the deadline to apply Good, is that's, April That 5th. would be smart. Okay, that would be smart. <laughs> Let's Good. put a deadline on this okay. <laughs> so we can get it going. That's smart. Um, still plenty of time to ideate and create something, but April 5th is that deadline. Um, just quickly, you know, fill out that form, cityofnovi.org backslash murals, um, and, you know, upload a picture of your design rough sketch. Um Am I missing anything, Cheryl? No, I don't think so. It's super easy. And uh, we'll share the information as well on social media. But, you know, we uh, it would be awesome to have a couple dozen, a couple hundred. Oh my goodness, that would be <laughs> overwhelming. Uh, the, just, I, I guess, you know what, I think it would be important to, to add to this is it, if we do have a large number, and I'm hoping we do, of submissions, you actually have a committee. It's not going to be Jeanette or I that just picks. It's not going to be the mayor, God bless him, that just says, (laughs) hey, this is the one I want. We actually are are having a committee. We have, the city has a cultural arts advisory board. Advisory board. So we're going to have someone from there, a member of city council. Uh, Jeanette will serve on, on that committee. And one of our creative services um, or the cultural arts supervisor mm-hmm. um, from Parks. Yes. So a, a small committee of internal and external um, residents, I guess, and uh, they're going to actually choose. They're going to look at all the applications mm-hmm. and choose. And it would be amazing to be able to commission a couple of these. We, we've got a few spots in mind, but depending on, you know, the size, if it's a tall portrait style um, rendering or if it's a long landscape type uh, of rendering where it might fit best, yep. it would be amazing to be able to choose a couple of them, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And just have them in our back pocket as spaces open up, you know, hey, this would be a great fit for this wall. Here. Right. Yeah. So super cool. So uh, it is going to be selected by a, a small committee uh, here of Novi residents and city staff. So 
How was it? Was it painful, Jeanette? <laughs> not the mural, not the mural contest. Was being on the podcast painful? It wasn't as bad as I thought. No. See, I told you. And I'm and I'm being truthful that time. Okay. That's, well, I hope you're always <laughs> truthful. So uh, I really appreciate. It. I, I tagged you, tagged you in last minute coming out of a meeting, but you are the brains behind this operation and. Uh, Super fun, super exciting. I'm really excited, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited too. I would love to see uh, multiple amazing murals throughout Novi. And uh, you want to give people a little sneak peek while we're talking about it, about superhero show. The, if you guys could have just saw her eyes, she was like, oh, what are you going to ask me I thought me we were wrapping about? up. I know. Um, but it kind of goes in line with murals, superhero showcase. We're, we're changing that up. Let, let's tease it so that people can get it on their calendars, you know, because the thousands of people that listen. It's going to be a Thursday night Thursday this year. Thursday night, yep. June 6th. But really what I wanted you to tease is the potential to actually have people help create a mural that you're looking and investigating for the event, which is new. Yeah, so I really want to have um, the community get involved um, in the mural contest, whether or not you actually submit um, an entry. How can you be involved, right? So I thought of the idea of having a large kind of paint-by-number, if you will, mural where at the Superhero Showcase, again, Cheryl said uh, June 6th, it's a Thursday here at the Civic Center, you can come and we'll give you little dishes of paint and we'll say, hey, paint, you know, 10 squares with the number three. And it can be for any age. And um, everyone has a hand in creating this mural um, at the event. So I just thought that'd be a fun, you know, way to participate in the overall theme and um, add some some more art. It's super fun. And uh, if it wouldn't get completed that night, we've got a variety of other uh, programs this summer. You know, our partnership with 12 Mile Crossing for the Street Sounds. Street Sounds, thank you. And uh, Sizzling Summer Parks does. So I love that idea. And then this mural could be on display somewhere here at City Hall or uh, another yep. facility uh, throughout the community. So I love that idea. And it, it'd be super cool for people to have their hand in, in making that come. Yeah, you walk by it and you say, oh, I painted this square, you yep. know. So super I cool. Think it's cool. Yeah. Very fun. So, uh, See, Jeanette's hand in low creativity is in a multitude of projects around the city. So I'm glad you didn't find it painful. It's just like sitting and chit-chatting with yep. me. Yeah. What are you going to leave us with? Some positivity. Positivity. Well, um, tomorrow's Valentine's tomorrow's Day. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Yeah, today's Galentine's Day. Today's Galentine's Day. And Jeanette was so sweet. So, so sweet. Thank you again. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, tomorrow's Valentine. I don't know if that's positive for everybody, but <laughs> tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And I guess we'll leave you with, um, I hope you all love Novi as much as we love Novi. Uh, it's a great place. It keeps getting better and better. And these murals will do nothing but enhance not only our community culture, our arts, but um, the promoting and uh, the, the community engagement in our, our city. So it's super exciting. Absolutely. So now you know. No bye. Take care. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>